While working as a researcher for Lowell Observatory, Clyde Tombach discovered the far-off celestial body while performing a systematic search for a trans-Neptunian planet. In the mid-1970s, astronomers began to question the validity of Pluto's planet status. In the following few decades, astronomers discovered that Pluto was one of several larger bodies in the Kuiper Belt, a disc-shaped area of icy, dark objects beyond Neptune. On August 26, 2006, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. Like other members of the Kuiper Belt, Pluto is composed primarily of rock and ice and is relatively small, approximately one-sixth the mass of Earth's moon and a third of its volume. It has an eccentric and highly inclined orbit that takes it from 4.4 to 7.4 billion kilometers from our Sun. Its surface temperature is estimated at minus 230 degrees Celsius. In 1978, the largest of Pluto's five moons, Charon, was discovered. Then in 2005, the Hubble telescope discovered Nix and Hydra, two more satellites orbiting Pluto. Six years later, during a survey searching for rings around the dwarf planet, Hubble discovered a fourth moon of Pluto. Provisionally named S2011 P1 or P4, in July 2012, a new moon, provisionally named S2012 P1, or P5, was discovered. Due to Pluto's distance from the Sun, there is little known about the tenth most massive body directly orbiting the Sun. NASA hopes to rectify this with its New Horizons mission. Launched in 2006, the New Horizons satellite is expected to arrive on the icy body in July 2015. Until the New Horizons satellite beams back new images of Pluto, the only images we have of Pluto's surface are from the Hubble telescope. Hubble's view isn't sharp enough to see craters or mountains if they exist on the surface, but it does reveal a complex looking and variegated world with white and charcoal black terrain. Artists have used these images to hypothesize what the surface of this far-off dwarf planet might look like. We'll just have to wait and see if these images are accurate glimpses into this mysterious body perched on the fringes of our solar system.